Hey guys, it's me Dapper Paper Bag and today I'm going to show you how to edit a basic YouTube video using Adobe Premiere Pro. So what you're going to want to do is once you've loaded up Adobe Premiere Pro you'll just see the screen. I'm using Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2015 because at the time that I bought this, this was the most up-to-date software. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start open, start opening it and I'm going to go to File, New and Project and I'm just going to name this Test, that's text and I'm going to hit OK. So now that this is open, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go to File, uh, New and Sequence and I'm quite lazy <laughs> <coughs> and what I do is I actually just open this at ABCHD 1080p 25 because I'm too lazy to search for the MP4 settings and this will change it automatically for me when I load in the footage. So here I have a clip that I've recorded. I recorded this yesterday for a different video but I'm just going to use this for the sake of the tutorial. And I'm going to drag this in because you could just drag or drop or you can hit Control i or Command i and through the same process. I'm just going to drag and drop just because it is so much easier. So once you've loaded in your clip what you're going to want to do is you're going to double click it. As you can see you'll see this little reference monitor up here and you can scroll along and see where you want your clip to start and where you want it to end. So as you can see I, I was looking at the world map so I don't want that in. So I can use the arrow keys on my keyboard to find the exact endpoint that I want to have it work at and I actually want it to when he starts walking so when he's in the middle of a walk is probably the smoothest so all you do is hit I and then press play towards the end or you can scroll through and just find the part that you want so for the sake of this tutorial I'm just gonna stop it here and hit O on your keyboard and then all you need to do is hit full stop and it will drag it down here for you and it is just dead easy. Then when it comes to audio what I do is I get the audio file and I just drag it in and I double click it again and it does exactly the same for audio except you can actually see when the audio starts and you could literally do the same again so I'm going to give myself a little bit of breathing space and breathing space is basically amount of time that it would take for you to take a breath and I think a couple of keyframes would be enough for me and I'll just stop here and mark my out point and mark in and I'll just place that usually wherever I want it to be usually it's at the start and I can use the slicing tool just to crop it to the same length I guess and you can you can use like multiple channels of video really and um, if you wanted to put something else over it so I'm going to use the same clip and mark it in here and just have like play in through here and mark out and then make sure that you don't have this on the actual clip because it will just like sit over it and it's quite annoying when it does it. So what you can do is you could have like another clip sitting on top of the other. And then you can have it smoothly move over. So when it comes to actually editing my audio, I don't really do too much to it. All I literally do is just double click on it and I go to effect controls and volume and when I'm talking keep an eye on this little meter here as you can see my audio is peaking horrendously what I actually want to do is I want to reduce it so that it's hitting 12 decibels here so on average you would be wanting your whole audio to just be if possible hitting that 12 or you could, you could get away with it being slightly over but in TV you couldn't so now that that's all been done, usually there would be like transitions and stuff which you can do using either presets in the effects 
So you can with video transitions that has like all of these transitions here. I don't like to do that. I usually like to have just like a simple fade, which you can use by I usually mark in first where it's gonna fade to and then I mark in the darkness. So once you've done that all you need to do is just play it and you'll see this quick kind of transition. And for YouTube you know, people tend to just prefer to have jump cuts. For my content, I pretend to. For my content, I just prefer to have jump cuts as well. So I do apologise if my speech is horrendous because I have a cold and I just generally have really bad speech. So yeah. So when it comes to you exporting your video once it's all done all you need to do is click on the actual timeline and then go to file and then go to export and then go to media now you can use the pre-built-in export software thing i don't like this i hate it I just uh, whatever i i used to use this back when i started doing youtube and it used to take forever to render and upload. So what I actually do is I go to Q and that opens up Adobe Media Encoder. So once you've opened up Adobe Media Encoder, you'll see your file sitting there and you'll see output file. And what you do is you just double click on that path and that will show you the path that the exported content will be going to. I'm just gonna put it into a different folder and I'm going to call it test, <laughs> call it test one and I'm going to save it and what I'm going to do then is go to my presets and you'll see all of these presets which apply to different websites and different platforms and stuff and I'm going to go to YouTube 1080p. Now what this does is just makes the files codex and the bitrate more manageable for YouTube, there's less processing with YouTube because you've done all of that using Adobe Media Encoder. So, I mean, it does process it, but does it need to do as much because you've already got everything that YouTube needs for it. So once you've actually done all of this, what you then need to do is just hit play and, you know, go to the toilet, grab yourself a coffee and just wait until that's finished and then that was quite quick because that was just a 10 second clip and there you have your clip finished so yeah if you guys found this useful don't forget to drop a like leave a comment in the comment section below my name's Dapper Paperbag and until next time dag dag